Your option A is to use the infrastructure that pulled you here to simply send yourself back. No. Whether or not the reality that you came here from is still even targetable, who knows? Hmm. Option B, you barter with some entity who has enough strength to forcibly tear open a wave. This also still suffers from the fact of is your reality nearby in the cosmic scale? Does it still exist in the cosmic scale? I have a question. Uh, one that is not answerable all by merely peering into the peering into the world's knowledge. It's um where hmm. many many places have had a similar have had a similar history if 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 either so if either a different place on a timeline or so or somewhere or diverged from my own oh, and however some places also seem to have a complete to have a completely different history to my own own oh, do you uh, do you know why that is it is because time is a very large place and the machine cares not for consistencies in basic time well what you would consider basic time i suppose that is true divergences in the timeline occur far far after what the machine cares for for this particular pocket So we've been following this person for a little bit, right? Yes, they've headed out of town. They are definitely on route towards your tomb, most likely. At There's the... not a whole lot else, else, not a whole lot else on the coast that you know of between here and there. Is there any particular reason you are heading this direction? I am simply following the infrastructure. This infrastructure, does it lead underground? My friend, it is the ground in a lot of cases. That is a non-answer. I do not know. It does occasionally. I do not know where this particular thread leads us. Hence why I follow it. Hence why we are here to map out the extent of it. One does not fight a foe without realizing where it is. Reconnaissance. I suppose, I suppose you are what is defined typically as a saboteur. That is obvious, I suppose, but a question worth asking. If that's one of like the demon, yeah, classes, I couldn't tell you because I honestly don't have demon. <laughs> Saboteur is the ones that really want to just blow up the machine. I have no desire to destroy what does not need to be destroyed. You don't blow up a bridge if it suits your needs, but if it supplies the enemy and not yourself, you remove the bridge. Here as a player and as a mummy, I have I'm very very conflicted here because I realize I'm dragging you guys along for this, but like, if he decides my tomb needs to be blown up, uh, I'm gonna go ape, and it's not gonna be <laughs> pretty for anybody. It's not gonna be pretty for anybody within a nine you mile have, radius. Let's only walk away. That's not our problem. That said, there's still some <laughs> investigating to do. Um, Drew's going to direct this at at this interesting fellow and 
I acknowledging that you've already improved the material conditions of a few different groups. What is the vision for the future that you're trying to enact? The vision is simply, as I explained before, to free ourselves from the machine that seeks to tie us down. That's the selfish motivation. What about the effects on everyone else? It would not be much of a world if we destroyed everything else. Not a, I'm, I'm past accusing you of wanting to completely destroy the world. You've, you've improved material conditions of other groups. If you remake the world as you desired to do, what will be the effects on everyone else? Effects? I'm not sure what you mean by this. Mm. They will well. exist as they already do. I... We do not simply, we don't seek to remake the world. We simply seek to rewire it so that it is not machine running the world and rather it is us. Mm -hmm. And everyone can go on living, going about their lives without an interference. I suppose and rewiring it, especially the core, the city and the central regions of this land, most likely will not exist. No, it is too, too closely tied into the machine. Most of it already is the machine. Would you permit everyone presently existing there to leave before you destroy it? They are free to, but you must understand most people living there are not themselves. They've already been remade by the machine countless times over. They are no more, no less the machine than angels. Is that why everybody in that, <clears throat> in that place seemed empty? empty to my sight you speak of souls yes yes there everyone in there was a husk empty but they did not act like husks as you can see from myself created by the machine it cannot manufacture what you call soul mm. It is one of the few things that remain beyond its grasp. Hmm. So now Drew has this internal conflict of our beings without souls, you know, as interested as he is, you know, with life and death and ghosts and whatnot, are beings without souls actually living? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, if they're technically clones? <laughs> Blar. Mm -hmm. The existence of a soul is not necessarily is not necessarily the sign of the sign of personhood. However, given given of course that by most by many metrics, ghosts and ghosts and be and of course many supernatural beings could be considered could be considered to have personhood. But, but however, however, e however equally it is. Hmm, it is questionable oh how how much how much free will and self ability ability to separate oneself from the from the from how whether they are true, I suppose, whether they are true, whether they are truly living beings or instead merely as, as a, as a point p p putting on a play, I suppose. Drew would actually verbalize this to this guy that they're talking to. Like, if you intend to enable freedom for all and not just yourselves, and stabilize the world in a positive direction. 
you would be able to count me as an ally and I would aid that cause over reestablishing control over you and your group by some other group. I wouldn't want you to become slaves. And if that's the goal I was working towards, then I was moving in the wrong direction. I do not understand this want for freedom. Yet. Cherry, Cherry, Cherry. I understand it well. When one, when one is, sh when one is shaped by someone who doesn't, when one is shaped by someone who does not care what they break, take it. You find yourself in a difficult situation. But, as for your previous question, nothing in life guarantees that everyone will survive unharmed. You That's not the kind of guarantee I'm asking for. What I'm asking for is positive intentions on your part, not just for yourself, but for everyone who lives in this world. Other than obvious enemies, I'm not asking you to be kind and benevolent to those who want to enslave you. I particularly could not care less but this is my personal feelings on the matter there are many of us a number who are quite fascinated by humans life and they would not wish to see it gone they want to learn from it and emulate it I am not too attracted to the fact Perhaps I will change my mind, but as of now, it is not something I wish to strive for. At the moment, you're working for the same goals that they are. We all work to re to take over the machine. <laughs> to, cre to create, I suppose, the idea of hell as one was, as you often, as demons often speak about. This is uh, the common term, correct? So Drew's gonna look at like everybody else while they're walking for to like solicit feedback because, mm -hmm. you know, we've we've kind of discovered that we've been working for a group that wants to enslave another group and... No, it's more like it, it, it seems out of character or or it seems more like the two groups disagree on how be best to, like, improve the world, I suppose. And one is worried that everything is going to sort of dissolve and break down, I suppose. Well, right. the other, well, the, uh, well, the, uh, and, and, and that's what they're doing. They're worried that it's all going to break down and they don't really want to help the machine, but they want to keep it at, like, just enough that it isn't breaking apart, I suppose. Pose. Well, the other one, well, the uh, well, the other one wants to fully replace the machine, and in order to do that, needs to sort of bring it to a negative point, point that ultimately puts it at like a precipice and stuff like that. And, but also, oh, could potentially end up better. And they have also, as a group, well, this one has made claims to the effect that they have improved the material conditions of a number mm -hmm. of groups already. Like, yeah positive strides improving the lives of others so the, the chair the cherry is suspicious about about those per positive strides including creating including creating the underworld and creating arcadia <laughs> you know you gotta define positive where you define it i think i need a, i think i need a composure role here Feel free. I can't stop you from rolling dice to decide how your character acts. I do it. I do it all. The you time. do it all the time. Yes, I do it all the time. <laughs> how dare you roll dice in an RPG? <clears throat> I just want to roll the numbers, man. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. See if we'll see if he uh, keeps a hold of that composure there. 
So again, Drew is looking to those of you walking along, being like, like his his expression is inviting opinions um, and input. Um, the situation, admittedly, admittedly, somewhat rem somewhat reminds me of my own. Though admittedly, though admittedly, the situation is different, and I. I could not I could not say exact I could not say exactly what the correct what the correct what the correct goal what the correct action is, here is however I believe at very least at very least the at very least these at very least this idea is worth considering Cer certainly it seems the idea the idea seems compatible with what it uh, with what I already know about with what I already know about out out oh the goal the general goals of many demons if you were Call me. um if um drew looks over at Amen, all you'll notice is clenched fists and visible shaking and <laughs> Where is Zamanakti looking? Directly at this man. Oh, oh right. Because of where we're headed. That makes sense. <laughs> well, no. Um, it actually goes a bit further beyond that. Um, you're a fervent believer. You're a fervent believer outraged by the sacrilegious of those trying to seize control of the world's levers with their crude sorcery. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exact sorcery? words. <laughs> what sorcery? Um, well, that means that Amanakti is going to be hostile to all of the factions of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Well, I for one would prefer freedom over slavery. Ultimate, ultimately, ultimately, the question. Ultimately, the question is: is if we would, as if we would prefer, if is if we believe that it is worth that it is worth the risk in order to try to change it, in order to try to alter the world to a significant degree, instead of instead of trying to maintain it as it is. Even if the cost of maintaining it as it is requires enslaving a group to make it so. That is a that is a that is a fair assessment. I do not. And I do not. I cannot. I cannot tell you exact exactly what exactly what the exactly what these exactly what these things mean. I. I that's I, as I understand it. That's what the choice is. There is one group of these who want to reestablish what it was and according to this one that requires enslaving this one's group and well, there's this group who wants to remake it so that that kind of servitude is not required that could perhaps be the case yes in a literal in a literal sense it could be said that the un it could be said that the unchained are in general all beings that have broken free from a slavery they were built for, I suppose. They were built for the intention of of the God Machine in order to in order to perform an perform an action as angels, I suppose. suppose. Oh. And were and were then and were and at some point and at some point broke and some point broke away from that paradigm i'm i'm very well so Oops. do you okay. place more importance on what they were built for or their own self-determination ultimately i be ultimately i believe that, that their self-determination is wor is worth trying to preserve however i do however i can't i cannot say for certain whether their whether their actions would do, would Direct, would directly he he ser would are directly would directly serve to lower the amount of the amount of that though so if you believe if you believe that this is the right option then I shall then I shall 
then I shall at least attempt to help. There's no way for me to know at this point whether I am striving to unchain a monster or if I'm striving to free a people. It's rather impossible for me to know at this moment, but from what that I from what I do know, I suspect we may have been working for the wrong group. And that's why that I'm ultimately what we do know is that is that if if breaking things at some level oh oh the breaking things at some that neither group has argued with the with the idea that that breaking enough things and not replacing them with something else could theoretically cause enough problems comes to break to break much of reality in which neither group has argued that that is a potential if if nothing is done on on so ultimately our ultimately our choice is whether is whether to to attempt to solve that by fixing by fixing the by fixing the breaks or by replacing them with something else what do you think stall i think that this entire situation isn't really my business anymore. Jer Jer Jerry's gonna look over to Rose. What do you think? I understand that this is somewhat complex and strange, I suppose. Well, there's no no good answer. Um, no easy answer. No easy answer, yes. I was always part of an organization that sought to expose the truth behind the scenes. I do not think simply blocking them does much good for the world. Very well, then. And, and, and. Come here. Thoughts? <clears throat> this is a, a difficult situation, to be sure. If, if I were to create an Eidolon to do a purpose, I expect that purpose to be done. I don't expect what I created to wander off and do whatever else it wanted to do, because that's not the purpose I made it for. But that being said, if that did happen, I would probably try and uh, reassert my control over that. Again, because I created this, this thing and expect it to do what I made it to do. It's not alive, it's not sentient. It its purpose is what I give to it. By all by all me by all measures, Earth's demon demons are demons are sapient and largely and largely similar to and largely similar to humans in terms of in terms of mm, mm, <laughs> Moral, um, moral choices. I will. I suppose. Calmir, are you suggesting that whatever made these is going to attempt to reassert control at some point? It does so regularly. I would, if if I were this thing. So, but... as your, what you're saying is that, if we help them, we might be wasting our time because they might be re-enslaved by the creator i don't know like i said it, it is it's difficult what i create is not sentient unless i will it to be what it seems to create is apparently sentient and alive in now every sense of the word so okay. it is a difficult situation yes 
original originally angels are created are largely created as beings that are that are that are sapient however however ultimate however ultimately be singularly focused on singularly focused on a goal however it is possible for them to be disconnected from the overall machine in in and either become exiles which are angels that are no longer connected to the, which are no longer connected to the to the overall machine or or to or if they break off intentionally he, he, he instead become demons, which are very, which are quite different from angels. Also, however, however, also largely, however, also largely defined by their, however, also, however, also defined by formally being angels, I suppose. Those, those, those angels, angels, while they are still connected to the machine, are largely still beings, things focused on their, focused nearly entirely on their, on their goal imperative i suppose at this point the demon in front of you does sort of crest a hill and kneel down and pull out a pair of binoculars mm. amanakti you are very familiar that this is incredibly close to your tomb in fact you can probably see it from here looking directly at the entrance scanning keeping an eye on this being he kind of said he kind of turns I for one in sapient sentient these are the terms that you use however much like these he kind of gestures to Kalmir is Eidolon, I personally would not want to be separated from my creator. Cherry internally, he thinks about how thinks about how a, how, 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 how how mummies were created. Hmm. Should I probably shouldn't mention that at this point in time. I'm gonna hold my tongue on that. <laughs> we. We have a choice to be, choice to make at this point. Things are moving in the world. We have an opportunity to take a hand in it. Mm. And there mm -hmm. are at least two paths. It doesn't seem like he spotted the entrance to my tomb and is heading that direction. He is still nailing, but... He has lingered sight lines on it for long enough that you can assume he probably knows that that's the door. I would ask that you do not. He says directly to him. I'm not a mind reader. You'll have to be more specific. Can check, can we can the other can the people who don't have superhuman vision see the see the tomb? Actually, Cherry knows the tomb is there. Yeah, he has direction yeah. sense, and she can just do this. Yeah, we just, yeah there just was from here. still an you know a an old stone tomb ish area on the surface. It's just the actual important tomb is yeah. I, I I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are gazing upon my domain. I need you to not go in. I have no need to go in. At least, not on reconnaissance. If we need to access the infrastructure inside, we will of course have to go in. You will address me before doing any such thing. If you want any sort of assistance from me. We shall keep it in mind, but considering how fleeting your time here is, allegedly, you may not be here when the time comes. Oh, trust me. Even if... For some reason, I would not be here. I will awaken. 
and you will have to deal with the full might. This is something very, very important. Demon doesn't respond and simply puts their binoculars away, stands back up, dusts the sand off their legs. Well, I believe this is as much walking as I need on this particular trail. Besides, more things to investigate. And from what I understand, the infrastructure is firing here. But I've seen it before it's been covered up. Rook, Rook, you get a look. Um, hold on. This is, um, this is the look that you get directly. <laughs> it's the same look she always makes, but now it's directly at you. At who? Uh, at, uh, Drew. As usual, he doesn't know what to make of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If, is this if... a prompt to roll wits? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Cherry is giving a dead fish eye stare to someone. <laughs> if we were to assist in your goal, what would be required? You cannot directly handle infrastructure effectively. It would simply be halting your attempted repairs of our fixes. I have a question. What, what do you make of the astral? I apologize for this question being unrelated to most things. The astral is a very particular part of reality, one that the machine still struggles to block out, even though it is quite temporarily blocked. We have left that intact. The supernal flooding into the land, uncontrolled, is not entirely conductive to the majority Any of life. Yes, anything really. <laughs> you mentioned this infrastructure several times. I have the impression that you know what you speak of. And I look to Cherry here and I see that she understands what you're saying. But the rest of us, and I'm pretty sure he looks over at Cherry again, do not know what infrastructure is in a physical sense. Is there, is there something that you could give us to see what is infrastructure and what isn't? Infrastructure is largely is largely a complicated it, it, it question, referring to referring to any specific specific creation of the of the gun machine in that serve that serves at some level all, all as its functioning, I suppose. Oz, 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 if the god machine is one if the god machine is truthfully one one great collection of things the infrastructure is is one might say it's gears or it's or it's or it's smaller or it's smaller parts excellent parts. just as i said you understand what it is as i had assumed you did i'm referring to the ability to detect and see it that is more difficult and not something that many have 
have admittedly there are some mortals able to do it and 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 de- and demons are of course able to do it though this is true it is incredibly difficult for most who are not directly attuned to it to detect much as it is usually quite incredibly difficult for say any of you to detect the spirit it is if it is not part of your being it is hard to interact with it there are many particular cases but these are just that particular cases it is potentially possible for one to develop such a power over continued exposure but generally it will be accidental exposures as the infrastructure is everything. So what you're saying is, is that we have no way of knowing if we interfere with you. We realistically could just do it on accident. Real, realistically, we under, realistically we have given, we have been given a map, map of the of the places where infrastructure is broken and unbroken and by one by one of the by one of the members of the other group i imagine i imagine i imagine this group could all i imagine this group could also inform us where they are but we ha- but we do have a but we do have a basic map so what do we do we sit here and wait for them to finish their job i do not know Trust is a difficult thing, and, and admittedly, admittedly, one we are somewhat lacking in. It is possible, theoretically, we could engage in other goals, goals, or we could, or or we could, or we could continue. We are, we could continue the actions that we were taking. You ask a question like you do not have purpose. Generally, living things have purpose, do they not? I do not. What my... would say you were not? You had not spoken to me today. What would you do? Continue to attempt to save the world from destruction, as I was led to believe it was headed towards. If we were not, if I was, if if I was not, if I was not, if I was not informed of any of those, if any of those things, things, my current, my current plan would be. My current plan, largely, would be, would be some, would be a combination of trying, of trying not, of trying not to starve, Arv, and, of trying not to starve, and, and, and attempt, and attempt, and attempting to destroy, to destroy members of the Charon group. My goal would have been just to wait for direction. I lack the same dedication to fixing the world as the rest of you guys. I just lost my only employer, so I'm probably going to have to find another way to sustain my expenses. Where's the where's the cult and also the the ghoul? They get lost on the way. <laughs> There's a lot of NPCs <laughs> nearby. What's I'm um, doing? I can <laughs> gaggle behind us. Oh, the majority of the cult was still in the tomb. They did not go with. They were sent to deal with the bodies. Oh yeah. Okay. Tullus and what whatever her name is, the other fancy cult member. Ishta. No, no, Ishta, yeah, the cult yeah. member that you got. Are not following along. Okay. Mm-hmm. So far, the last job I have is to take Tullus to his sister. After that, that's basically it. There's profit in a stable and prosperous world. Perhaps. 
but you could probably reach it without my help. If you if you wish to if you wish to leave to engage in the to engage in the pilgrimage, then I will not stop you. Presumably, it would be unnecessary. Are you just asking to get paid? Basically. <laughs> Ch cherry, can, cher cherry, I. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that, I'm afraid that, I, I'm afraid that I have no access to money. What kinds of things would you consider to be appropriate payment? Just the usual. You are currently, you are currently talking to, I believe, to, I believe, Eve, 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 um, do you have? She, she looks over to, to to Drew. Unless you unless you have money, I believe I believe that no member of our group does because one because I highly doubt that the I highly doubt that the man from the Neolithic era has money. I do not know what like this money is. <laughs> shiny stones and seashells. Shiny Count. stones with some pictures. Yes. Do you know what gold is? I know what gold is. Yes. Are you able to? God, you can do so many different things. Can you <laughs> find? Can you find it or make it? Um, can I find it or make it? Let me say. Did you uh, take matter? I do have matter now. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I how love. How high is your matter? I love the fact that everybody's just ignoring the mummy tomb, the amount of gold and jewels in the, the tomb, mummy, the and the fact the that I have resource. The the I have the resources five. <laughs> And the say, last thing, offer to give the money last thing we the heard money about the stuff in that tomb was thou shalt not touch it or the dragon will breathe fire on you. The thing is, <laughs> the, thing is, is the, mummy, the mummy can offer to pay the Promethean whenever the mummy wants. The mummy is not a member of this group. <laughs> I'd love to be part of the cult. Just tell me. Might <laughs> <laughs> okay, be a on. tier four. Let's see. I'm trying to think about things. Uh, yes, I, I can't find gold. <laughs> this our our very powerful friend here, with you know the, the fists that can destroy buildings, needs payment to assist us in our journey. Right. And he, he looks at Stall, and gold would work, right? I have to. Yes, ch ch Cherry, <laughs> Cherry, just like. Why are, why are we, ch ch Cherry, internally, why are we dealing with this right now? Cherry, externally, completely placid and, and, and inscrutable. Well, because oh, yeah. Stahl basically said, this ain't none of my business, I ain't getting paid. So he's about to, like, walk the hell off. <laughs> I was going to stay until Tolis met his sister, and then I'll find some other reason to stay. But... Yeah, and if we want to deal Drew, with this now, we can deal yeah, with it now. Like, like, player understands, but Drew is sitting there like, he's about to leave. I ain't never seen anybody punched like him before. <laughs> Cherry, Cherry, hey, I... I, adm I admit that that ultimately, uh, unless... unless the mummy, unless the... Unless the Arisen intends to help, unless the Arisen and their cult intends to help us, 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 um, I do not believe, I do not believe that we have, I do not believe that we have the physical, that we have the physical firepower, I suppose, to do, to do, um, as much as we were before, I suppose. That's why we need to figure out what our goals are, and mm -hmm. then we can ask uh, our very tall friend here if he would like to proceed with us. Yes. At this point, Amon finally gets a chance to speak up, and he looks directly at Stall. I have, well, a cult behind me that has access to substantial resources for their own ends, for their own uses. Should you decide that you take side with 
me. That would be part of what you could use it for. Your own. This, I wouldn't say pay is the correct wordage. It is there for your use. That's dollar sign spin in Stahl's eyes. Cherry holds their tongue because because I think because I think Cherry understands how much money that that means. If that can help sustain me, then I'll accept the offer. Is more than enough for my cult. Is frankly more people than you are. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's a man who's more of a man than me. You know, just. Also, Cherry's gonna look at Ishtar. He's gonna focus on Ishtar for a moment. Ishta, you mean? I... Ishta, yeah. There, there. <laughs> it's fine. Words are hard. Hard, hard. Oh, and that's the shortened version of her name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to pronounce um, whatever the word vomit you slammed your <laughs> fist on the keyboard and made in my Ishta Nifaria or something like that. Can't even pronounce his own name. Cherry, Cherry looks at them. Um, 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 and Cherry. <sighs> if Cherry, Cherry looks at them. Unfortunately, hey, Cherry does not have emotions on her face, it's like always. Does that mean I roll wit or I roll empathy here? Yeah, I, I, I'm not like attempting to hide. No, I have to. I have to. Oh, yeah. uh, damn it! That's your character. <laughs> you must. You took the score. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have a character sheet, so I'm just gonna like roll a dice pool. It seems correct. Well, uh, also the mummy is noticing this, so he's rolling as well. Yeah, probably. And then that would be a plus one for my skill specialty here. Don't be roll tens minus three. Whoa! How you, do you feel? You've been beaten <laughs> twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Cherry, Cherry, he, he, um, Cherry <laughs> looks at Ishta, and Cherry saw the blood, Cherry, Cherry saw the, saw the blood, or saw the, um, bathtub of blood earlier, and, um, also, and also noticed that the mummy recognized you, and if a mummy recognizes you, ooh, 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 that implies that you are much older than you might, than perhaps, perhaps you, than perhaps, perhaps, um, you look. Is there um, something you wish to say to my high priestess? I suppose, I suppose, I suppose the, um, this, the, um, I suppose tub in the, in the, in the, within, within the tomb, tomb was, was, of, was yours. Get a get a yes. Yes. <laughs> Can't speak. Yeah. All on and out of time. Uh, yes. <laughs> Is this a problem to you? I can attest that that blood came from murderers, and I look at Ishta just as a that was always our deal. There, there is a nod, yes. <laughs> At this point, I will mention that the demon has been walking away. Yeah. What direction? It doesn't matter. To the desert. Yeah, that... On a horse with no name. <laughs> if he's not heading towards the tomb, then Amen doesn't care at this point now. Yeah. 
Uh, nope. ch cherry is like, cherry is like, like, hmm. If it came, that... if it came from, if it came from murderers, I can, I can at very, I can at very, I can at very least make the, mm -hmm. I will provide, I will, I will, mm. I have not, mm. I have not known. Blood bathers are typically. I would believe I would believe it is usually quite difficult to find to find them to find an amount of to find an amount of murderers to 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 make a bath of blood, though. So if you if you say if you say that is the case, then I will give you the benefit of the doubt. At this point, Amin kind of laughs. He goes, <laughs> "You should have seen her on the night that she dedicated herself to me. She slaughtered thirty in one night." <laughs> it was glorious. Are there truly, are there truthfully that amount of murderers in, in, in your area? This was centuries ago. I have no idea how long. What have I got myself into? <laughs> Just to... Hmm... This is standard crossover game, my friend. <laughs> Cher well, Cher then, Cherry, Cherry, aware of the, aware of the nature, or, or that 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 is that is easy that is, that um, it is e it is easy to it is easy to it is easy to um to prove it is easy to prove so, to it is easy to assume someone it, it it is easy to prove it is easy to um believe that someone is a murderer if. It act if it actively benefits you for for them to be a murderer, <laughs> and you're not and you're, and you're only giving the most basic you're only giving the most basic courtesy to proof. But she's not going to say those things. <laughs> Drew, Drew now has a dilemma because he explicitly offered help to this guy who's now walking away. <laughs> like, if you can. All you have to do is tell me that you want to make the world a better place, and I'm with you. And dude's like, peace, deuces. He was I'm like, out. he was like, he was like, you probably can't help, so go do your own thing. Just don't bother with us. Yeah, yeah, but like, at the same time, um, that's sus. <laughs> Somebody's also, like. Terry can you find something for me to do to help and he's like nah get out of here so at this point normally I'd call for a perception check for you know the end of game cliffhanger but <laughs> I don't need this at this point there is a horn a very loud horn <laughs> Most people would recognize it as a ship. Ooh. Kalmir sees it because it's within five miles. <laughs> yes. There is a ship that has almost seemingly appeared out of fog out in the distant sea on a direct intercept course with the coast. And it's not a small ship. It's an aircraft carrier. Oh. And not it does not I... appear to have noticed that it's about to hit the ground. <laughs> as it is still going full speed. Now, Calmere has no idea what the giant, no shining metal box is. <laughs> what? There's a... What is... Something huge is in the water. It just appeared. And it's going to hit the shore. I have never seen anything so big. Huge it's... by... It just appeared. You... How far out is it? Can, can North see the water from here? What? <laughs> it's a bit foggy. Oh, okay. which, which direction is it heading? And what... To shore. Toward the beach. If it doesn't stop, it's going to... hit? Crash? 
I suppose, unless it's supposed to do that. It is not. Hot, hot, hot. What, what, what material is this thing, is this thing made out of? Well, that would cost me a spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ch- 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 is like, 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 what does the material is? I, I apologize. What material, what, what, what is the appearance of the, of the overall, of the overall it outside? Probably looks like steel, question mark? Or like a gray, gray, almost like the fog. Okay, we should we should not be we should not be near the coast. Oh, also, I would I would I would like to be able to help. I would very much like to be able to help the people who are currently who are currently going apparently full speed into the coast. However, at this point, it would. However, at this point, I do not believe if that we have a that we have a direct plan to prevent them from hitting from hitting the coast coast and we should likely avoid being near the coast all right yeah. with that he goes i have a plan <laughs> as he grabs boat very well uh i'm gonna activate uh dust beneath feet tier two utterance so that's two pillar points w- one does, so you're gonna have to... i i'm gonna spend one in here just because I want to make sure that I have the oh, whoops oh. oh wait right um did Kalmir give uh direction no 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 it's just the force shield thing does um um Am- Amanakti does he have the shield too no. or is it just fine so i'm gonna activate one point of ba and one point of ka spend those uh two pillar points what that does is uh tier two i increase my size because my ka is over three i increase my size by my ka rating so i increase my size by five and my strength by five and I'm going to activate Swift as the Sun, and I'm booking it towards the coast. I am going to grapple the ship. You're going <laughs> to grapple the ship. Look at the, the ship is going to crush itself under its um, weight. That's probably. Probably. Would it Would it be a, a bad thing for me to point out this is four and a half acres of, of ship? <laughs> this yeah, this is, is quite a large ship. You might not even be able to... To, to be like, fair, not... we don't know how big the ship is. <laughs> It's if very it large. An aircraft carrier, which is massive, to do the and map. might not even be possible, even with five extra points of strength. I think yeah. you might need like I think you might need like Audrey. fifty strength to do <laughs> things about that. We're talking ninety nine thousand metric tons. Mm. I That's mean, not I can stop the mummy from trying. Well, that so. and I'm I'm also I'm also size size eleven of a pure stone at this point. Yeah, you're really? a rock. And realistically, and I cannot. S- what you, realistically, what you need to do is you need to talk to the people who were piloting the damn thing. And actually, I am completely immune to knockdown, so it cannot knock me down. <laughs> just push it back. You're just going to. You're just going to. Cr- at best, you're going to tr- crush the thing like a tin can, which is not helping anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oh, going back. <laughs> Going back to Stahl's question, because he asked it, I, the mummy does not have the forces shielding, and I don't know if he needs it, admittedly. I don't Cherry. think radiation's gonna hurt a mummy. Cherry. Also, is follow there radiation even around here anymore? No. But also, follow up for Stahl, is there a uh, nuclear reactor on that carrier? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he'll be able to sense it. Actually, no, can't that, they? Can't they sense it? Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, like, how far away can he sense an active nuclear reactor? I think I need. I'm gonna be honest. I think I need a alembic, like a one of the irradiated ones. Yeah, they're unique alembic. It yeah, cher- is like cher is like 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 <laughs> if if you. But, you know, we could wave that if you want, what you know? Is, what, what, is, what, is your, what is your exact plan and the situation? 
and, and we're gonna already running away and next time yeah <laughs> Terry, this is going to Terry internally this is not going to make things better it's going to be fun to watch though yeah uh -huh.